kick it, Jackie Chan. Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. You know, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown Barrett. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video in the Water Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of the Juice Superstar Mode here on Madden 24. We return and we are almost done with Season 1. We've got weeks 14, 15, and 16 in today's episode and maybe we go super long and make it 17 as well just because then we can go straight into the playoffs if we make the playoffs I guess we'll have to see if we can win these games or not. I don't know, but we've been kind of struggling We are a level 17 79 overall with one skill point left. I have not uh, done any extra superstar showdown or whatever. It's called uh, Any any of that extra mode like I did in the previous episode because I've been doing some other stuff so Let's just jump right into the video. Week 14 against the Niners. We got a 99 linebacker club matchup. I'm guessing it's going to be Bosa again. Yeah, for some reason they they think that Nick Bosa is a 99 linebacker. He's he's not. He's a 99 edge rusher or end. He's he's certainly not a linebacker, but whatever. I mean, they even the problem is that they have a 99 linebacker. They have Fred Warner. I don't know why they're not using him. It doesn't make any sense. But let's get uh a good night's sleep i guess on the brand focus thing whatever on the field drills do i even really want to do this i don't care free time let's do uh, oh we could do man of the people sure we'll get plus 200 team xp that's pretty cool what's this yo oh it's coach prime i've seen what you've been doing in the communities since you've been there seems like the cheers are getting louder and louder I see all the seahawks fans too oh that's cool so he took time out of his busy schedule coaching Colorado to come and text me. That's pretty cool. Then we've got bonus workout. We can do plus five strength. I don't even know if I need to do that or not. Let's do plus two short accuracy. Th uh, yeah, short throw accuracy. And then we got extra recovery, which is plus two agility. Let's do plus one speed. I don't even know that really affects me at all. I never really notice it. But so far, the playoff picture late in the season, we are currently the six seed because we lost to Dallas. So Dallas took our our spot but that's okay because we're gonna jump in we're gonna beat the 49ers we had to play them last episode we did beat them in the last episode i think that was the was that the late fourth quarter comeback i'm pretty sure that was but now we got to go to san francisco and beat this niners team that's very good we got to keep our playoff hopes alive i'll see you guys in there here we are jumping in first series of the day against the niners this is gonna be a tough one I'm not saying it's going to be easy. This is certainly going to be a very tough matchup, especially if we play as bad as we did against the Cowboys. We just could not move the football at all. We're going to have to change that, but it'll start if Kenneth Walker can really get going today because that's usually when our offense is just moving like crazy is when is when Kenneth Walker is cooking. And it looks like he's going to down the sideline. Kenneth Walker breaks one tackle. Kenneth Walker to the end zone. He's got nobody. Kenneth Walker, a two-play touchdown. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I didn't have to do anything. That's beautiful. That is exactly the kind of momentum we needed. What a start on the road against a rival. Now the defense holds up. Beautifully done. The defense holds up amazingly. And we're just going to, I mean, if it, if it ain't broke, if it ain't broke, just keep giving the ball to Kenneth Walker. He's already got 83 yards. Might as well keep feeding Kenneth. Oh, he finally got figured out. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to call something different. Was that Drake Jackson that made that play? It might have been. 30 seconds to go first quarter. I'm going to have to make my first play of the day. And I don't really know who it's going to be to. I might have to just scramble for this one. I got some blockers on the edge. I had a couple guys open. But I saw that. I saw the lane thought i could take it and now with 10 seconds to go in the first quarter we're gonna get this ball right back into the hands of our big playmaker our workhorse our bell cow back 90 yards on five carries is an insane stat line already in the first quarter that's an insane stat line but we are gonna keep feeding kenneth walker because not only does this move the football down the field very effectively against this niners defense it also 
wears them down and takes time off the clock, which is absolutely what I want to do. But it seems like they're starting to get a little bit of a feel for the run game. So I got to throw it away because one, they had me figured out there. And two, the, the camera didn't track with me. So I kind of didn't know where I was going. But that's normal for this game because it sucks. What can we do here on second and ten? Fire it quickly to Eskridge. There it is. Oh, he got a big hit from Fred Warner, but he does hold on. So he gets us to a third and three. This might be a scramble opportunity. I'm not going to try to force it, but it is there. And I've got some space. And I'm going to get the, the goal, which was 20 yards rushing. I'm going to get the first down, keep the drive alive. That's my job is just to keep this drive going because now we're at a minute. I'm going to send Tyler Lockett deep. I know he's not press coverage, but Tyler Lockett with one-on-one -on -one could be good. Although he's not going to be open. That's a late throw. Not a late throw. Behind the back, or behind the receiver throw, and that's a pick on Hufunga. I shouldn't have threw that. I was in such a bad spot, throwing across my body, making a weird angle. It was weird. I shouldn't have thrown that. I know better than that. I know, I know better than not to throw that. But the defense does their job again, so they bail me out. Appreciate that defense. The Niners do get the ball to start the second half. Uh, I don't usually run screens, and it's probably not the smartest idea to run at the 7. But we're going to try it out here. Toss the screen. Kenneth Walker. Big. Oh, you see that pancake block? I don't know who that was. Is that Damian Lewis who dropped a pancake? I don't even know if Damian Lewis still plays for the Seahawks. Whoever that was just pancaked the Niner player. That was insane. He got wiped out. Uh, I got a roll here, and I got a I got a scramble. I know Bosa's tracking me. I just got to do something. Oh, that's a late hit. That's a penalty. I was clearly out of bounds. Bosa still made contact with me. 17 seconds. We got to try to make something happen to get in field goal range. Maybe this is a Smith and Jigba shot. I don't think he's open. Camera's not following me. Now it is. I got the first with 10 seconds to go. This has been a running game. I have not been able to pass the football very well. We got 10 seconds and two timeouts. We can make something happen if I can find the right receiver. And I did. He's open. Eskridge. Get into field goal range. Timeout. Four seconds left. I don't know if that's field goal range, but I tried our I tried my best. I got us close. We'll see if they if they actually kick it or not. I doubt that they do, and if they do, I might miss it. Okay, so whatever happened, I don't know. But we didn't get the three points. That's kind of upsetting because I, I tried to get us down there as close as possible. I just don't think that Eskridge took the best angle. He kind of just went like... He didn't really, didn't really go towards the end zone or towards field goal range. He kind of just went like sideways. But that's okay. Uh, Noah Fant is not going to get open. I just got to throw this ball away. I was really banking on Noah Fant being open there. He just never beat his man. Never could create separation. I really needed him to be open there. But the Niners offense just has not been good. And that's that's good for me. I'm glad the Niners offense hasn't been good. Fire that down. That's Eskridge. Eskridge has been huge. I talked about this last episode. Eskridge has been huge in DK's absent, absence. With DK being injured. Dwayne Eskridge has been very useful. And I just cut that ball away. I don't know how I did. But I just put that ball over the corner, and it went into the hands of Dwayne Eskridge. I don't know how I was able to get that ball away before I got hit. Crazy scenes. Do I try to send Lockett in? That might be a little stupid. No, he's open enough. Oh, I got hit in the throw, and it kind of pushed it away. That was a tough, tough uh, play to hit. I think we just let... Walker try to get in here. Go, Kenneth. Get in there. Touchdown. That's two touchdown advantage in the fourth quarter. We're heading into the fourth quarter on the Niners. This is big. This is very, very big. And we held him again. We stopped him. The Niners offense cannot do anything. Brock Purdy is stagnant. He cannot keep up with the dominance that is the Seattle Seahawks. And I think the smart thing to do, obviously I'd like to pass... To get my stats up get my numbers up but i think the smart thing to do is keep it on the ground with kenneth force them to use all their timeouts and then just hopefully score again and put it fully out of reach 
Hand that ball off to Walker. Warner's going to meet him in the middle. That's the second time out. It's third and five. Do we trust Kenneth Walker here? I kind of want to do it on my own so that if we don't get it, then it is what it is. But uh, I might have him here. I did have him. I got it fourth and two. They're going to keep me on the field. That's what I was worried about. That's why I wanted to pass it. I wasn't sure if they'd keep me on the field or not, but they do keep me on the field. Fourth and two. Stand in the pocket. Fire it to Smith and Jigba. He's got the big time catch. First down. I thought he might have been able to drop it. And I thought he was going to get in the end zone. There was a couple different things I thought there. But I really need to pad my stats here. I need to get at least one touchdown in this game. Fire that in. That was a risky throw, but I got it. My throw on the run really helped me there. My high rating. Tyler Lockett, big touchdown catch. I needed a, a touchdown in this game. I couldn't have one pick and no touchdowns. Especially when I'm trying to win Offensive Player of the Year, Rookie of the Year, all that kind of stuff. So the Niners finally score, but it's a little too late. It's 21-7, and we're just going to like run this ball with Kenneth Walker. I'm not going to kneel because that's going to ruin my numbers. I've had a decent day running the football. So we're going to snap this with Walker. They got no timeouts, and Kenneth Walker might be able to break through. Oh, he had, he had some lane. Had some open space. And this ball off to Walker again. If he gets into scoring range like he is right now, Kenneth Walker... We might have to try and get another passing touchdown here. I mean, they're they're just feeding me an opportunity. Might as well try and take it. If he can separate, I don't think he did, so I gotta try and get out of the pocket and run. He just never separated. My my one target was square, and he never never got open. He was just running with the guy the entire time. Verticals could be interesting, because Noah Fant could get open. Or I get sacked. That's also a possibility. That's tough. That's real tough there. Taking that sack. That's the end of the game. 21-7. Doesn't matter. We won the game. That's a big victory on the road against a rival. I outplayed Brock Purdy, but it wasn't really about the quarterbacks in that one. It was about Kenneth Walker dominating. And it helped so massively that we took that momentum at the, at the early stages in the first quarter when Walker scored that touchdown. That helped so, so massively. To get us all that momentum. We got an extra skill point. We have two skill points now. I'm not sure if I want to spend them just yet. But that could take us to an 80 overall. We beat the Niners. We're 8-5 and five now. Headed into week 15. Taking on the Eagles. That's a big game against the Eagles. But do I want to spend my skill points? Or should I wait till we get to level 19? I don't know. Upgrade skill points. Uh, should I upgrade my throw power to get silver? Not 100% sure or not. We still have to make a few more throws on the run to unlock the silver ability. I don't think it's worth it, really. I mean, yeah, we could upgrade our our short accuracy, but that's not going to bump our overall up. We're still going to be a 79. Maybe I could bump up my throw under pressure. That might be good. It's not going to bump us up at all, but throw under pressure could be good. Yeah, let's do that. Let's spend two skill points, upgrade my throw under pressure. That makes it an 81. Doesn't take us to do an 80 overall, but having 81 throw under pressure is definitely nice. Should help me with my throws when I'm getting screamed at. Brand focus. We've got dancing machine. Let's just do that one. Good night's sleep. Then we've got free time plus two awareness for the next game. Let's do game night plus two awareness. Uh, bonus workout. We've got stiff arm. Let's do deep pass training. I don't know if I'm going to be throwing it deep at all. And then extra recovery. Max stamina for the next game. Plus three max stamina. That's perfect. So now the playoff picture is still us at the six seed because I'm assuming the Cowboys won. And, I, and I'm guessing the Cardinals have already clinched the division. If not, they're about to. We probably have no chance at winning the division, I would guess. Yeah, they're 11 and 2. We have no shot. We have no shot of winning the division. But at least we can get in the wild card as long as we can hold off the the Niners. But we got to take on the 12-1 and one Eagles. This is going to be such a big game. Such a tough game, too. I'll see you guys in there. I don't know if we'll be able to do it or not. Here we are. We're getting a pep talk from Coach Carroll. Let's see if we can go out there and start this one like we did against the Niners. That would be awesome. If we could start with taking the momentum, getting a, a huge touchdown early, that would be absolutely amazing to do but this Eagles team is not 
as easy to beat as the Niners. The Niners were not easy to beat. So this is going to be a tough game. Second and four, handed off to Walker again. He's got some space, and he's got himself a first down. Two carries, ten yards. We're going to keep handing off until they start to adjust. And it looks like they've started to adjust. Jordan Davis has made his presence felt. Second and 11. Okay. See, that's what we were waiting for. We were waiting for them to start to figure it out and Jordan Davis to start to assert his dominance. But that's okay. DK's back. Let's go. Having DK back is huge. DK's missed a lot of the season. Can I fit that in there? That's a tough throw. <sighs> it was a little inaccurate. I was running away too far because I had to get away from the pressure. Wasn't sure if I'd hit that or not, and I didn't. But at least I've got all my weapons back for a big game against the Eagles. Uh, I gotta run again, and I might just take off here. That's my best option. I can get the first down somehow. I don't know how that dude didn't uh, like close the gap and, and tackle me for a, not a first down. <laughs> he should have easily stopped me. Oh, press coverage. Might have it here. Tight end attack. Tyler Lockett. Safety help. Is there gonna be safety help? I don't know what there is, but I've got Noah Fan open. Throwing the run pass completed. Noah Fan, big time gain. 36 yards, that's huge. Because now we can give this ball back to Kenneth Walker, and he's going to get stopped. <sighs> End of the first quarter. I thought for sure he'd have speed to get through the gap there, but he didn't. Eagles did a good job. I think the game plan for this, this matchup against the Eagles is to just run as much clock as possible off and avoid having them with possession. We don't want the Eagles to have any possession. But doing that means we have to keep the ball getting first downs, and Jordan Davis is not allowing that to happen. I did just peep that... I gotta throw this ball away. I didn't throw the ball away? I pressed the throw away button? Did I not throw it away? Whatever. I pressed it. The camera didn't go with me. But I did just see that it's 14-7. to Niners lead over the Cardinals. That's huge. We take a 3-0 lead, and the defense stops Jalen Hurts. Okay, that's promising. I really wish it would have been a touchdown, but that's okay. That is promising because we proved that we can at least move the ball against the Eagles. We haven't scored yet on them, but we can at least move the ball. Fire that quickly to Noah Fan. He gets tackled. A huge, big judo tackle there, and then we'll snap this again. We'll find somebody... DK! Catch that on the sideline, DK! Almost. Man, this pressure from the Eagles' defensive line is not easy. This is legit pressure right now. It is hard in the streets. Fire that quickly, DK. He didn't get the first down. He stays on his feet trying to fight for it, and they call a timeout, not allowing me to get myself no huddle. So we have to punt the ball back. And they get the ball to start the second half, too. They don't do anything. I think Jalen Hurts threw a pick or something. Or a fumble. Something happened. We get the ball immediately back. That is huge. Defense steps it up. And look at the look at where we're at right now. We are at the 10-yard line. The defense definitely did something. And Kenneth Walker will dive into the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. That's huge. Kenneth Walker's been big in this series. And he's been big in this episode. That is a big touchdown from Kenneth Walker. That puts us up 10 to nothing. On the number one seeded Eagles. I'm pretty sure the number one seed. I mean, they're 12 and 1. How would they not be? 31 seconds to go. The Eagles do a nothing again. And we've got no safety help over the top. We got one safety in the middle, one high safety. So if I can send, like, Jackson Smith and Jigba to distract the safety and then have Noah Fan be open. Uh, he didn't distract the safety. Ah, I just launched it. It was almost caught by DK Metcalf. The safety didn't get distracted, which, like, I wanted him to. I was hoping that he would follow Smith and Jigba. But he didn't. He tracked with Noah Fant. Noah Fant was going to be absolutely butt naked. Luckily, Tyler Lockett was butt naked right there. I think that was Tyler Lockett. It might have been Smith and Jigba. It was Smith and Jigba, okay. I just saw the one and thought it was. Okay, oh, I should have called my timeouts. I didn't know about the I didn't think about the runoff there. Oh, it sucks. Okay, so we end the half 10 nothing. It is 10 to 7 Eagles. Oh, they're starting to be the Eagles. They they turned it into overdrive here. We got to figure this out. 57 seconds third quarter. We can take a lot of time off if we play this right. Oh, I just got I'm blocking against <laughs> I'm blocking against Jordan Davis. That's not a good idea. 
Seven, or uh, second and seven. If we play this right, we can really win this game. It is a possibility. We just gotta do the right stuff when we need to. And I have got to fire this in. That's a throw on the run. That's Tyler Lockett. That's a big completion. That is a very big completion. Final play of the third quarter. Snap that. Hand it off to Kenneth Walker. He's got blocks. He's got space. Kenneth Walker down the sidelines. Break a tackle. No. Okay. That's fine. That's a really, really good run from Kenneth Walker. That gets us to the fourth quarter. And we've got momentum. We've got the field positioning. We're sitting pretty good right now. We just got to avoid Jordan Davis because he's been a problem. Walker goes outside, gets some good yards, and they call a timeout. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We are working right into our plan. Snap it, hand it off to Walker. If he can get a first down, that'll be absolutely massive. We're going to hand it off to him one more time. This should finish the timeouts. Well, regardless, it's going to finish the timeouts, but it's not going to get us the first down. That's unbelievable that Jordan Davis broke through like that. We're going to kick the field goal, go up 13-7, to but I wanted to get the first down there. What happened? Oh, my God. I think Jalen Hurts or the offense just fumbled the football back because we have it. We have it. What just happened? I have no idea. I pressed X too many times, so I, I hit the kneel. I have no idea how we got the ball back, but I'm not complaining because we have a chance to end this game, but I got to do some stat padding. I got to try my best to get some extra yards here. What do we call? What do we call? What do we call? I don't like any of these play action plays, but I'll call this one. Oh, I got my X factor activated. I got pro reads. That's the first time I've activated it this season. All right, all right, all right. I got some space. I might have it here. Juke move. Oh, I tried. I really tried the juke move there, but it didn't work. Um, What can I call here? Slants. Let's call slants. That's got the best option of being open. Snap it. Fire. Caught. Tyler Lockett. Touchdown. I got a big touchdown there. That was massive. I needed that for the stats. Needed that. That was a tough throw. I got hit on the throw. It was awkward angle. But Tyler Lockett held on because he's a stud. And we make this even bigger of a victory than I thought it was going to be. The Eagles sold. Oh, actually, they scored a touchdown, so it's not as big of a, of a victory as I thought. It's actually really big that we scored there. Because we wouldn't have been able to win if we would have just gave the ball back to the Eagles. But this is a massive victory against a 12-win football team. We now know that in the playoffs, if we get matched up against the Eagles, we can beat them. Because we just did it. So, that is huge. That gives us our ninth win of the season. I'm hoping the Niners upset the Cardinals, because that'll help us out. I still don't think it's possible for us to win the division. I think the Cardinals have to lose every single game. And I don't see that happening, but that is another massive victory. Massive, massive victory. And we're going up against the Titans next, ep or next uh, game, and I don't think the Titans are very good. I think the Titans might have like three or four wins on the season. So that is huge. Huge, huge, huge. We could take a look at the uh, stats because I don't even know what my stats look like. I've got 2,800 yards, 31 touchdowns. Am I like, I've got 23 picks. Am I leading awards? I'm not leading MVP. Am I in the MVP conversation? I'm 10th in MVP conversation. Am I leading like rookie of the year i'm not leading offensive player of the year that's not good i'm not even in the conversation for offensive player of the year what about offensive rookie of the year i'm behind Bijan. Oh, i might not win anything that's not good i might not win anything this season i'm just not having the passing numbers that i should have brand focus uh let's do feeling the love that i don't know let's do the meet and greet free time we'll do Plus two speed. That's always good. Then we got a bonus workout. Plus two break sack. That could be good. But let's do plus two medium accuracy. That'll probably be better. And then extra recovery. Plus two team awareness. That's probably the best. Let's do plus two team awareness. Make sure everybody's looking good. And then the playoff picture is us at the five seed. I think the Cowboys dropped a game. So we're now at the five seed. 
That's really, really awesome. That is really, really awesome. Playing the Titans, who are 3 and 11. Cardinals are 12 and 2. I think they ended up winning against the Niners. So there's, I don't think there's any shot that we can beat the Cardinals. We just have to f take our spot as the as the uh, five seed, play the Vikings or whoever we end up playing. But we got to win this game against the Titans and then win the game against the Steelers and we can ride off into the sunset in the next episode in the playoffs. Hopefully that's how it happens. But we got to first focus on the Titans. Let's go beat them. On the road in Nashville, the Titans got the ball first and they took a lot of time off the clock and kicked a field goal. So we're down three nothing to start this game. But you know how we like to start games here. We like to give the ball to our beast, Kenneth Walker, and let him feel out this Titans defense. Three yards on the first carry, not too bad, not too bad. like the start there. Hand this ball to Smith and Jigba, catches it third and two. All right, that's a good start. Now we got to get ourselves this first down. How do we go about getting ourselves a first down? Probably running slants and then me scrambling. That's usually how it goes. So we do this, we do this, and we slide. That's how it works. That's the end of the first quarter. Pretty simple first quarter. Pretty darn simple first quarter. We're moving the ball down the field. We'll give this ball back to Kenneth Walker because I don't think the Titans, I mean, they have Jeffrey Simmons, but I don't think they have anybody that has a run stopper or run stopper, whatever it is. So Kenneth Walker should have a pretty easy day. I don't know what he's doing. He's running backwards, Kenneth. Where are you going? <laughs> you just kept running backwards the entire time. Not sure what you're doing there. Uh, I got a man open. It's DK Metcalf. That's an on-the-run throw. Throw on the run. So that's awesome. Tyler Shelvin. Don't know who that is, really. But he's injured. Sucks to be him. Smith and Jigba's running a nice route. So is DK. I kind of want to play DK deep. Because he's DK. Oh, but they had safety all over the top. Just check that down to Noah. He holds on. Good job. Kenneth, uh, Keith. Is it Keith Byer? No, it's, it's uh, Kevin Byer. That's what, I don't know what I'm forgetting his name for. Oh, good juke. Did he get the first down for prog progress? He did. And now we've got first and 10. Let's go slot two buck. Snap it before they're ready. Roll out of the pocket. This guy's fast. Is that Hale Landry? I think it might have been. He was much faster than me. I had to get that ball away. 57 seconds. We get the ball to start the second half, so that's nice. If we could do a double dip, then that would be ideal. I think I'm meant to scramble here. I've got some space, and I'm faster than everybody. 50 seconds to go. I've got all my timeouts. I can make this work. Snap it. Fire that into Noah Fant because we had to. Call our first timeout. Second and three. We're making this work. We are making this work. We're going to go wheel switch because I think Smith and Jigba could get open. Smith and Jigba's open. Get in the end zone. There it is. JSN touchdown. That's massive, baby. Absolutely massive. Big touchdown. And now we've got a huge shot to do a double dip. And if you don't know what the double dip is... One, you have to say it like that, double dip. And two, you got to score at the end of the first half and then get the ball back to the start of the second half and score again at the start of the second. So that's what we're trying to do. And we've got the ball back with 20 seconds. We are at our own eight, so it's going to be a little difficult, but we could try to get in a field goal range. Maybe this could work. Fire that into Tyler Lockett. He's butt naked. Go, Tyler. Go, Tyler. He's got be Byard. He does get by Byard. We'll call a second timeout. We've got 10 seconds, and we are into great field position. I don't know what they were doing on defense there, but nobody tracked, <laughs> nobody tracked Tyler Lockett. So with 10 seconds, all we got to do is get into field goal range, and I pressed the wrong button. I hate my life. I wanted R1, but I thought that his button was different. And they're going to pull me off the field. Man, I, I wanted I wanted the guy going on the corner route, and I thought he was X, but he wasn't. So we don't get a field goal or anything. That sucks, man. Ugh, I hate that. Okay, starting the second half. Up 7-3. to three. Hand this ball off to Kenneth Walker. Get things rolling. There it is. He's got space. Oh, he needed to beat Bayard there. He really did. Harold Landry injured. That's huge. Because he's really fast. He's holding his hammy. That's really big that he's injured there. I'm looking at DK here. I think he could be open on the on the rollout. 
Uh, he is not really. So we'll just fire that in a little check down, get four yards or whatever. He wasn't open. They played that pretty well. Played that pretty well. We'll go play action again because I think this is what Tyler Lockett got open on. And there's no high safety. So if DK splits the defense, oh, the safety dropped back though. And again, Tyler Lockett's open here. Those, they can't handle the crossing on the play action. That's a huge catch. It didn't go as for much as it did the first time, but that's still wide open. Kenneth Walker, big open space in the middle. Kenneth Walker down to the 16. He's been so big. This is why I was so happy to get drafted to the Seahawks, man. So many good weapons. An amazing running back, a ton of receivers to throw to, and a good enough defense. Hand that ball off to Walker again. He tried to hit stick somebody or truck stick somebody. Didn't really go very well, very far. Third and five. Uh, let's go with a wide trail. This is the final play of the third quarter. I probably shouldn't even snap this, but I will. Fire that in. Get there. First down. Fourth and inches. Does Pete Carroll let us continue for the fourth quarter? Does he let us continue the drive or is he going to pull us? He pulls us in inches on the six. Really, Pete? You don't trust us to punch it in? That's unbelievable, Pete. Oh, they are going to... They just didn't trust me to get the inches. Oh. We are going to try to punch it. Okay, awesome. Perfect. I don't know why they, he pulled me out there, but... Kenneth Walker scores. Big touchdown. We go up 14-3. to three. Let's go. That's exactly what we needed, man. Exactly what we needed. That's big momentum. We have full momentum. Titans have no shot. They do score, though. And they got the two-point conversion. It's 14 to 11. It's a field goal game, a minute 33 to go. So they're going to be using their timeouts. They only have two, though. They only have two timeouts remaining. Let's snap this ball and get them to use those two timeouts. Walker goes outside. Spin move, but he spun right into a guy. So that's okay. It's second down and eight. We could kick the field goal here, but I don't really want to. Kind of want to score. Hand that off to Walker. That's their final timeout. Okay, perfect. No more timeouts for the Titans. And I'm going verticals on third and seven. We're in field goal range, but I want more. And I'm going to hit to Noah Fant. On the... No, he dropped it, Noah. Noah drops the, the catch. It was a first down. And we get pulled off the field on fourth and seven to kick the field goal. Oh, Noah. You were open. You had it in your hands. And they scored. They took the lead. The Titans take the lead. It's a one-point game with a minute to go. I'm going to have to do another fourth quarter drive. The defense sold me. In the same game where I mentioned that we had a good enough defense, the defense sells me, and now I got to drive down the field. That's a big catch. Good start. I'm watching the time. Don't worry. I'm watching the time. All we got to do re realistically is get in a field goal range. But I'd like to prove that I can score a touchdown. 40 seconds, two timeouts. And we're almost in the field goal range. If I can roll and hit DK, he holds on. Big play, DK. Big play, DK. Huge, massive, massive cojones. Unbelievable catch from DK Metcalf there. And Parkinson's open. I've got myself a touchdown. Another fourth quarter drive. That's what I do. Forget about big play DK. Big play juice. The bright lights are on me. And I delivered. 29 seconds left. Two point conversion. But what does it really matter? I'm still going to try to get it, obviously. And we might get it right there with DK. He dives. Two point conversion complete. And the Seahawks are going to go into Nashville and beat the Titans. Unbelievable. What a drive. What a game-winning drive from the boys. What a game-winning drive. But they tied it. Unbelievable, this defense. I can't believe it. This defense sucks. Un I, I don't even realize what's going on right now. The defense just let the Titans go down the field on them and score and tie this ball game. Are you freaking serious? Oh my god! I oh my god! Oh. oh my god! The craziest game of all time! 
What just happened? A walk-off in Nashville. All I needed was one play. Tyler Lockett beats Kevin Byard, and it's bye-bye Nashville. The Seahawks walk it off. Final play of the game. What did I just play? What did I just do? I don't even know what happened. That was the craziest game of my career. 282 yards, three touchdowns. Forget about the defense bailing me out. I bailed the defense out there. I just gave us a win. I won that game twice. <laughs> I won that game twice. What an insane game, man. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Now we got to go play Pittsburgh. I just kept us in this playoffs. I kept us in the playoffs, baby. That's win number 10. It's got to be, right? That's got to be win number 10. I think. Yeah, we're 10 and 5. Look at the boys. 10 and 5, baby. Drink only the healthiest juices. Uh, let's do that one. The juice boost. Oh, we might as well do the juice boost. I mean, we are the juice, so we might as well do the juice boost. Then we've got plus two speed for the next game. Let's do that. Uh, we've got bonus workouts. Uh, we'll do plus two medium accuracy. That always comes in handy. And then the extra recovery. Uh, plus two agility, sure. All right, perfect. Now we're playing the Steelers. And I forgot we have another game against the Eagles. I forgot Cardinals. I forgot that we had a week 18 game. That's my bad. So I probably could have done this in uh, in two different episodes. But it's okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it right now. We're going to keep going. We're 10-5, and five, and the Cardinals lost their last game. So they're 12-3. and three. So there is a theoretical possibility that we could win this, ser this division. If the Cardinals lose this week in Week 17 and we beat the Steelers, we'll be 11 and 5. They'll be 12 and 4. We play the Cardinals in Week 18, so there is a possibility we can win this. I don't think it's likely, but there is a possibility that we could do this. Let's get in here, beat the Steelers, and make that a reality. Okay, we're starting this game, coming off of that crazy walk-off win last game against the uh, who did we just play against the. The Titans, that's right. I forgot for a second who we played. Now we're taking on the Steelers at home again. I think we go on the road to Arizona against the Cardinals. But this is not going to be an easy matchup. I know the Card or the, the Steelers aren't that great. They've only got like five wins or something. But they're still the Steelers. They still got TJ Watt. So, oh my God, no offense. That was in your hands. That wasn't even my fault. <laughs> that was in your hands. You dropped it. That was a good throw. They are playing tight on DK Metcalf. Look at that. They stacked Minka on top of DK. And I should have that throw. I can't believe my eyes right now behind the receiver and it's a turnover. Oh, how? I can't believe Noah Fant dropped that first pass. I mean, it was in his hands, Noah. It was in your hands. Steelers take a three-point lead. We got to get this ball to to our playmaker we got to get this to to kenneth walker here snap it hand it off He's, i think cam hayward has run stopper or run stuff or whatever it is uh can i get that over tj watt's head no i cannot good thing he's got bricks for hands he's a way better pass rusher than he is a pass catcher 10 seconds to go in the first quarter i'm playing stupid I gotta just focus. Oh my god, I could have a touchdown there. It gets to DK. Go, DK! Down the sidelines. Touchdown, Seahawks! Stand in the pocket, take the hit, and fire it to DK. Let's go! That's a big touchdown. Give us that momentum back. Give me that momentum right back. Come on, defense. Okay, they let out another field goal. That's manageable, I guess. We're still in the lead. There's been some crazy plays in this episode. That is for sure. Absolutely crazy. Hand this ball to Kenneth Walker. He's going to get some decent blocks. Kenneth Walker breaks one tackle. Gets to the 32, second and three. Good run from Walker. Walker, Texas Ranger. Do we go Smith and Jigba here? This might be a scramble. 
Depend on what the openings are. And DK's open. DK's open. Down the field. Throw on the run works to perfection. And with 53 seconds left, we are in prime position here to score again. And that's exactly what we need to do. Uh, I don't really know where to go, though. Slants. Fire in. He holds on. That's a... Oh, TJ Watt's injured on the play. Yes, sir. Please give me more of that. I'll take that all day. And I've got pro reads. What does pro reads even do again? Uh, I don't even know. Just says don't take a sack. I'll try not to. Trust me. I am going to run and get myself some big time yardage. Down to the 18 yard line. Do we try to hit Smith and Juba here? That might be a little bit risky. I'm going to still call it. Uh, I think he's open enough. Touchdown! Oh my god, what a throw, what a catch. JSN with a catch of the year, maybe. They're going to booth review it. I don't know if he was in. They're going to say he was. What a catch from JSN. Unbelievable. And now we got the glitched camera. Come on. Oh, what's going on here? Let's, uh, there we go. Something's happening. Can we, can we move on? Yes, there we go. I hate when the camera gets glitched. I always get scared. That was an unbelievable throw from me and an even better catch from Jackson Smith and Jigba. Come on, defense. Another field goal. This defense just allows them to gash us, but then they stop them for some reason when they get to the, the goal line or get to the red zone, and then they just kick a field goal. And Kenneth Walker with a huge run there. I think TJ Watt's still injured. That's a huge run from Kenneth Walker. And this will be the final play of the half. Walker has to hurdle. He gets a few yards. He's got five for 29. And we go into the half up 14 to nine at home against the Pittsburgh Steelers. I feel pretty good. As long as the defense can hold them. Another field goal. What are we doing, boys? Can we please not allow them to kick a field goal? Can we at least stop them? I'd really appreciate that. TJ Watt is back, though. And I've got some speed, and I've got some blocks. Juke move. Oh, I don't have a crazy juke move. <laughs> I did. It did work a little bit, but it just was so slow. I'm just glad that my speed was able to get around that guy, or I could have been stopped for a big loss. 40 seconds to go third quarter. Run a little play action. Fire it to DK. He holds on. Yes, man. Let's go. And now I think he's got double me activated. He does. DK Metcalf has double me activated. He is now a problem. And I shouldn't have ran that football. <sighs> I know better than to do that. Let's go with a play action cross. Because, I mean, he's got freaking double me. We could test him. And an underthrow. A severe underthrow from me. And that's the end of the third quarter. I'm kind of shocked that was so underthrown. I was not expecting it to be that on the throne, but it is what it is. Okay, DK is running across the middle. I like that. Because uh, I think DK is going to be the one open here. DK, one-on-one, -on -one, go get it! I almost threw a pick there. Not sure why DK didn't go and get it, but we are not going to be able to score there. Hopefully, we'll kick the field goal, go up 17-12. to 12. And we do go up 17-12. And the defense finally stops the Steelers. Thank you. Thank you, baby Jesus. We needed the defense to stop the Pittsburgh Steelers offense, and they do. I think it must have been a turnover because we're in great field position here, and we are going to give this ball to Kenneth Walker. Great blocks, and he gets a ton of yardage using the Steelers timeouts. They only have one remaining. So if he can get this first down, it might be ball game. We probably have to get one more. Get in there. Get in there, Kenneth. He got the first. Big, big first down from Kenneth Walker. We're also into ma very manageable f field goal range, but I don't really want a field goal. I want to pad my stats a little bit more, so I'm going to fire it in. That's JSN. Oh, he tried to juke in for the touchdown. He couldn't get it. But that's okay, because I am going to roll. Fire back across my body. Touchdown. Oh, my God. That should not have worked. That was Houdini. I couldn't even see myself on the screen. And I found it in into DK Metcalf. Another touchdown. I'm a magician. I'm DK Metcalf's 
greatest ally. 23 to 12, hopefully 24 to 12. And the Steelers do get into the end zone, 24 to 19, but that is going to be ball game. These have been crazy games. Absolutely insane games. We're going to hand this ball off to Mr. Kenneth Walker, and he is going to end this ball game. Oh my God. At least we didn't have to come back and win it in like no time remaining. We just got it done as is. I'm fine with that. 24 to 19. That keeps the hope alive that we can win this division. Now, if the Cardinals beat whoever they're playing this week, then obviously our dreams are over. But if the Cardinals lost, then we play them in the next game and we could win. If we beat them, we could win the division. It's possible. It all depended on if they lost or not, which I highly doubt. I highly doubt they lost this one. I got another skill point, so I must be level 19. I am. Perfect. We've been dominating. It's been such a fun episode. We're 11 and 5. Hopefully the Cardinals are 12 and 4. Uh, if I go to the game day thing, they're 12 and 4. We have a chance to win the division. Oh my God, it's worked out this well. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it's worked out like this. Free time. Uh, let's do plus two speed. We're definitely going to need that against the Cardinals. How good they've been this season. Bonus workouts. Let's do plus two break sack. That could be useful. And then we got extra recovery, which is plus two max stamina. Let's do plus one speed, plus one max stamina for the next game. That could be very, very useful. So this game is for the division, I would guess. The Cardinals actually dropped to the three seed because of it. And that'll be where we play. If we are to win the division, we'll be the three seed instead of the five seed. I'm, I'm assuming this is for the division. That's what I'm going into this game with the mindset of, that this is for the division. But we are going to find out Seahawks and Cardinals. I don't know how. I mean, the Cardinals were like 12-1, and one, weren't they? Or 11-1? and one? They were something like that. They've had a severe drop-off this final game. Absolutely unbelievable. And you know we got to rock some custom uniforms for this final game of the season. We got to rock the, uh, let's rock the 90s home. No, nah, let's rock the the classical ways. No, nah, I want to rock the 90 homes. Let me rock the 90 homes. The Steve Largens against the Cardinals. This is going to be a massive one. Final game of the regular season. I'll see you guys in there. We are on the road in Arizona or we're at Glendale, wherever they play. I don't know. I think they're in Glen Glendale officially, but we are on the road to play the Cardinals probably for the division oh my god how the turns have tabled baby and they they read that easily I should have gave that to Kenneth Walker oops not a good start Buda Baker right in my face but that's okay because that's just the first play of the game you know I, I always struggle in the early stages but then I figure it out in the end because I'm a big time big game player Big game juice, and I got a ton of space, and I've got myself a first down, just like that. Evan Brown is injured. That sucks. Let's get this ball to Kenneth Walker. He's always good for about 40, 50 yards a game, maybe more, depending on who's on the defensive line. And Kenneth Walker just gets easy 11. An easy 11 yards. I'm pretty sure somebody got pancaked on the Cardinal defense. Good juke move from Kenneth Walker. You see that? He broke some ankles there. Kenneth Walker's an animal. A beast. 45 seconds to go first quarter. We got plenty of time. Just got to make the right reads. That's not the right read, but it's going to work out in any way. I was, my first read was DK, but then I saw the space and I thought, might as well go to Jack Smith and Jigba, and it worked out. Walker up the middle. Decent gain. They'll keep the ball moving, keep the clock rolling. Ooh, definitely with a little bit of play action. Oh, okay, first quarter's over. I was going to try to hit the play action there. Yeah, okay, we can still call it. Okay, perfect. Let's hit some play action. This could be DK for a touchdown if I can hit it right. This definitely could be DK. Uh, DK? Oh, I threw it a little bit too far to the right. I was trying so that DK was the only guy that, that had a chance at it, but I didn't give him a chance. <laughs> I didn't give anybody a chance. Third and six. 
Do we try to hit JSN in the corner? I think we do. JSN wide open. Corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. We take an early lead in Arizona. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's huge. That's huge. Big touchdown for JSN. Big throw from me. Come on, defense. We allow a field goal. Our defense is the epitome of bend, don't break. We bend so much, but then we don't allow touchdowns. We just go and allow field goals. This is a similar to play to what Tyler Lockett was getting open on in the previous game. I forget who it was against. That's a tight window. I shouldn't have done it. I should have just done something else. Leonard Floyd injured on the play. I could get my sixth rushing touchdown of the season. That could be useful. Kenneth Walker has nobody covering him. I just noticed that. But they do have him after a little bit. But I do have a guy open. It's going to be held on to. I really wish that Buda Baker didn't track Walker there. Is somebody going to follow him? Okay, yeah, somebody's over him now. I was about to hot route him for a, 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 just a deep post. Uh, I don't have anything. Throw it away. Throw it away. Throw it away. Don't get sacked. Do not ruin this. Do not mess this up. Where do we go with this football? That is a good question. That's a very good question. Let him go inside. And we scramble. We got blocker. Actually, I thought we had blockers. <laughs> we should have had blockers, but they just ran away. Uh, we're running out of time a little bit, so we go play action read. Take the handoff. Roll outside. Fired in. That's JSN. He broke a tackle. He slipped it. 20 seconds. Call a timeout. We are riding high here in Arizona. I'm going to send DK deep just in case he beats him one-on-one. -on -one. I know it's pretty tight quarters, but... Oh, I'm going to get sacked. I ran right into that one. They, they sealed the edge really well. All right. There wasn't much I could do. They sealed the edge beautifully. Do I think Noah Fant wins one-on-one? -on -one? He might. Do I trust him to catch the football? Probably not. Oh, he did win, but I didn't throw it. I do have that guy, though. JSN. Get in there, JSN. Touchdown! Oh, he's right at the one. He's got to be. Yeah, he's at the one-yard line. Seven seconds from the one. Do we? I'm going to let Kenneth Walker get this in. I believe in him. I have no timeouts, but get in there, Kenneth. Score the touchdown. He does. Touchdown, Seattle. Another massive touchdown for the boys. Oh, man. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. End of the half. We go into the third quarter. We don't allow anything from the Cardinals. <sighs> we have got ourselves a ball game, boys. And we could have ourselves a division. When everybody thought we were dead, we could still have this division. Check that down to Kenneth Walker. He gets some good yardage. I'll take it. Always taking check downs. And we'll call that same exact play, except for I won't do the audibles this time. And we'll check it right down to him again. If he's going to be wide open, might as well take it. <laughs> might as well freaking take it. We'll call it for a third straight time because I think JSN is going to track wide open. I think he did. Can I get that ball to him? I can. And Jackson Smith and Chick was going to score. Galaxy brain. Galaxy brain. I knew he was going to track open. Touchdown, Seattle. 20 to 3 on the road for the division. This could be it, boys. We could be coming from the depths, the depths of, of nothingness to win this division. Everybody and their mama thought the Arizona Cardinals were going to win this division. But I said, uh-uh, not today. You don't know who the Juice Man is. The Juice Man is here to deliver. And we are just going to run this ball as much as we physically can, hoping Kenneth Walker can get a first down. I know we're still in the third quarter, but there we go. Now we're not in the third quarter anymore. So if we can get into the fourth quarter, end this ball game. It is third and five, though. I don't know if Kenneth can get the first down here. I'm not going not gonna to give it to him. We're going to go quickly to Jackson Smith and Jigba. He's going to hold on. That was a risky throw, very risky throw. And they use their timeouts. They use one of them. So if we can snap this, hand it off to Walker, he's going to force the next timeout. All right, it's second and eight. Give this to Walker one more time to use their last timeout. 
And then we should be golden, right? Should be golden, Pony Boy. There's the final timeout. It's third and five. I do kind of want to snap this. Keep the ball in our hands. Oh, that's a risky throw. Incomplete. Clock stops. We're out of we're out of the field. <sighs> I probably shouldn't have chose that play. Probably shouldn't have chose that play, but it's okay. We got we still got the job done. We used all our timeouts. And we still have a decent chunk of a lead. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They didn't do anything on offense. And all we gotta do is hand this ball to Kenneth Walker or Neil, but I don't really wanna I don't wanna kneel and ruin my rushing yards. Hand this ball to Kenneth Walker. Call it a day. Great blocks. And there we go. We've got ourselves a victory. We got ourselves a division, boys. I hope. Now, I could be saying all this, all oh, great blocks again. I could be saying all this, and the, the Cardinals could still, for some reason, take the division. But I don't think they will. I think that we will have taken the division here. I hope, at least. That's the plan. We're just going to keep running this football until there's no more clock left, or if we score. I guess that's a possibility, too. Which you might as well try. Snap it. Roll outside, find DK for a touchdown. Adding to the numbers. God, I gotta be the MVP after this after this episode. I mean, I know that I'm not in contention, and I'm probably not gonna win it, but I'd give myself the MVP after these these games that I've played. Oh my god. Crazy. And we still got time on the clock. We've still got time on the clock, and we still gotta get this game over with. 28 to 10. This one's over, over. There's no way that they can possibly win. Walker, I don't care what happens because this ball game is over. It's got to be. It's got to be over. Third and nine. And there it is. The Seattle Seahawks have won the game against the Arizona Cardinals. Three touchdowns for the boy. <laughs> what a episode, man. The games that we played in this episode were absolutely insane. They were thrilling. Just crazy. We get another... We got something for my avatar. I don't even know what happened there. We'll figure that out in the next episode. But we have done it. We have beaten the Cardinals. We finished 12-5 and five just like them. And we go to the wild card to play the Saints. But are we the division winners? We're the three seed. We won the division. We won the division, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Division victory. Next episode is the playoffs. Hope you guys enjoyed. What a wild episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I truly appreciate it. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.